I do is win, 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 no matter what Got money on my mind, I can never get enough And every time I step up in the building Brand Bonanza here, CEO and founder of Seamless Contact Today I want to talk to you about the importance of sales role playing for your team Every day, every week, you and your team should be executing sales role playing. Sales role playing is critical for any team, any organization to be successful. You never want to be in a sales situation and learn how to pitch and close someone for the first time when you're actually with a client. You want to be able to pitch and close your own team members who are going to be your toughest critics and then leverage that expertise and that knowledge that you develop from sales role playing in real life scenarios. They say, you know, it's very costly to learn from mistakes or you can master your craft by reading, by studying and uh, by practicing. And then, and then at, when you're in execution, you, you make all that money, you don't make those mistakes. Uh, like poker, you know, I could just start randomly playing Texas Hold'em and go play poker and um, lose a ton of money because there's guys that have read 50,000 books, have been playing for 10 years or I could study the math, I could study how to play, I could read 15 books, I can practice, so that when I go to the casino, I can crush it, and I'm not learning from losing all my money 50 times in a row. That's the same type of strategy with sales role playing. Every day, you know, you need, the, as sales development leaders, as sales experts, even outside sales, inside sales, Every salesperson needs to be doing sales role playing. It's critical, whether it's it's prospecting, pitching, calling over the phone, you name it, negotiating contracts. Everyone should be leveraging sales role playing and um, wh why it's important. You know, A, you get to learn new strategies from your team that you may have not realized could work really well. For instance, at Seamless Contacts, we sales role play every day of the week. And by doing that, one team member like Scott may come and pitch in a way that Chris has never heard before. And Chris is like, oh my gosh, I love how you opened up that call and complimented the prospect. Or Scott may hear Chris pitch and he's like, oh my gosh, I love how you crafted. Tell me more about seamless contact. So after you pitch the prospect, they say, okay, I'm interested. Tell me more. Chris comes back with an amazing opener. Tell me more value proposition and then closes the prospect. Scott's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna leverage that script. And Chris is like, I'm gonna leverage that opener. And you just constantly get better and better and better and better so that you never, you never aren't on your toes. Like playing basketball or, or being an athlete. They don't just play the game and then stop. They're practicing and training every day of the week. LeBron James is training every day of the week. Curry training every day of the week. The same goes with salespeople. We should be training and role playing every day of the week. You're not going to go into battle with uh, an unsharpened sword. You need to have that sword sharpened. You need to be practicing role playing. And um, you know some other advantages of role playing. You're going to uncover sales objections that you may not have thought of. Ways to reply to certain sales objections that you never heard of or thought of. Value propositions. You know one of the biggest value propositions that uh, one of our team members invented was um, the term, you know, seamless context is the terminator of business development and it's a game changer. Prospects love it, clients love it, I love it, and uh, it converts super high. But if we weren't role playing, we would never have known that Mike is leveraging that value proposition to create an analogy to pitch seamless to our ideal client personas. And those are the things you're going to identify, you know, the best ways to open up calls, the best ways to compliment prospects, the best ways to do discovery, the best ways to pitch, the best value propositions, the best ways to overcome sales objections. It's also going to keep your team on their toes to ensure that they're constantly training and practicing and coming up with new ways to be the most effective that they can be, whether they're prospecting via sales, calling, emailing, social selling, or they're pitching in person, pitching virtually or working on those contracts. It keeps everyone just focused on becoming the best sales athlete that they can be. And that's why you know we highly recommend leveraging sales role playing at your organization. If you haven't implemented a weekly or daily sales role playing session, it will be a game changer for your business. Do it right now. Take action immediately. Don't wait. Don't hold off. I waited three to six months to implement sales role playing 
at Seamless, and it was the worst decision ever. If I could go back, I would have implemented it day one for all inside salespeople, for all outside salespeople. It's a game changer. It helps everyone. You know, a lot of people will get scared. Oh, I'm scared to do role playing. Like, don't be intimidated by role playing. The whole point of the role play is for us to help each other become the best sales athletes that we can be to communicate how this business is going to maximize our clients' sales, income, revenue results, their life. You know, so so leverage sales role playing. Implement it immediately. Just put it on the calendar. Invite everyone. If you need to start slow, start off by a weekly cadence, once a week then move to twice a week and then move to every day. It will be a game changer. You only need 15 to 30 minutes. You can have different people role play with each other or have a big group. At Seamless, we do a big group role play where we'll just randomize who's gonna be the sales rep, who's gonna be the prospect, and then here's the, the prospective persona. You know, hey, it's John Smith, VP of Sales at Adobe, or whatever it may be. And that's a great way to just implement sales role playing. Get it out there, you're gonna learn a lot you know, from the top down to the bottom up, everyone will learn, everyone will benefit, and uh, you'll be able to figure out opportunities for improvement, strengths, weaknesses, you name it, and uh, it will be a game changer. So, hey, I'm Brandon Burnett, and CEO and, uh, and founder of Seamless Contacts. I look forward to hearing how sales role playing evolves and revolutionizes your team and your business. Feel free to share in the comment section below how you execute sales role playing and any advantages that you've recognized. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the